Hey Pisces, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. I'm so stoked that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. We're gonna be getting messages um, on love and career for October. Um, I always look forward to the monthlies. I've been doing a lot of shorts lately. Check them out, they're um, every week. And those are a lot of fun. Um, but the extended is just, it's just packed, you know? So listen to your bodies. And if it resonates, take it. Uh, tarot is such an awesome vehicle for introspection. And if it doesn't, consider um, checking out your moon sign, especially if you were born at night. And there's a link in the description box below. Um, simply go to that website and for free, you can plug in your information. None of it has to be personal. You don't have to share your name or anything, um, but it'll give you your natal chart. And you can take that to any astrologer and they will read it and tell you about you. But yeah, check out your moon sign for sure. And you're rising, but moon sign's cool. All right, you guys. And I ask you and, and thank you to like the video if it resonates. Perpetuate the energy. Claim it. All right. I'm not going to take that. Pisces, career. We're going to just take the cards. Woo! That choose to fly out. We have transformation. Um... This is an alchemy card. Patience and balance are attached to this. So the earthly existence that we have, you know, it does touch our spiritual existence in a lot of ways. But one of them is how we balance our bodies and these, these vehicles that we're walking around with. So it's a great indication that the tarot is kind of pointing out the um, need for patience and also balance. So just paying attention to how much are you drinking, how much are you sleeping, how much are you, all that stuff. Uh, but this is coming out with two other cards, so let's look at them. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Empress card. Now, the Empress card flew out a little differently, it kind of flew out like that. And we're going to take that into account. I start all the cards out upright, and when they fly out in reverse, I listen because there's another separate set of meanings that way. Flipping but not flying is the world card. You might be traveling, you might be connecting with people uh, from a distance, um, but we're getting a lot of major arcana here. And um, this is about abundance and it's about setting yourself up for abundance, okay? And it's about stability because we've got that four of wands and how important that your stability right now is so that you can set that set up the um the stage for abundance coming out of ten of swords in your pre-shuffle this came up upside down and this just came out upside uh, to the side so this is like you've been dancing with a disappointing ending for a little while this is letting it go i i just right we're setting the the stage i want to say playground for some reason Lots of play. That's to look be looked to you're gonna look forward to that. But setting the stage. Okay. So there's decisions, there's you might feel busy, you might communication might be like blowing up right now. Um and so you're just trying to honor your own time, but also making time for others. Um Pisces always are kind of the go-to for other people um to unload on <laughs> and also to get advice. And so just kind of finding a balance of that. While you don't want to shut the door on it and those you love and people who feel so drawn to you um, for your wisdom and your advice and your comfort, it's also important to make time and space for yourself, setting up the stage, right? All right, clarity in the transformation card, ruled by Sagittarius, we have temperance, right? This is that alchemy card that we started the reading off with. Okay, we have five of pentacles. What an interesting card. This is a sense of scarcity being left out, um, ostracizing, bank accounts being a little low. What about that? King of Swords, no bullshit. No bullshit. Looking at things factually, informatively, rather than um, emotionally. This is all in clarity to the rebalancing to the transformation that's taking place. And it's very non-emotional. It's a, a response to something that's been emotional with 
something that is unemotional, something that is like fact from fiction now, time for fact, fact from fiction. That's going to get you healing. So that is what this card is about. So this is your career reading, right? But this is affecting your career. I do feel that some of you guys need healing. In this tarot reading, this is who this tarot reading is talking to. To create abundance in your life, there's some healing that needs to be gathered. I think at some point um, in the recent past, some of you guys felt ostracized from your jobs or not, or like you weren't making enough money. I feel the word duped um, come to mind, but that gave way to another character inside of you, and that is the King of Swords. And if you look at the King of Swords closely in the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck, he's wounded. I mean, he's got old scars. They're all healed, but he's been to battle, okay? So you've been to battle. What do you do with that, right? That, if you've been to battle, you know it comes with resentment, anger, sadness, some, some intense energies. How could that be affecting you getting abundance, right? So you need to put those energies, those hard emotions in their place with the warrior, with this King of Swords. Hey. Fact from fiction, all right? And um, let's look at the facts and then let's look at what we, it's a very practical energy and it's actually gonna help you get a lot of healing. Now, for some of you guys, this is a, a therapist. This is an outside, um, very different kind of voice. So it's either coming inside, coming from inside or it's coming from outside, but it's all about rebalancing things. It's all about helping you set up this playground I want to say it so bad, let's just say it, um, or stage for abundance. Okay, this is four of wands, anything that Tara wants to say about it? The wheel, where you are at, despite some days you might question it, where you're at in your home, where you're at in your, ge geographically, you're right where you're supposed to be. This is just always a confirmation from Tara when you get the wheel, right? What else, anything else for the wheel? Mm, wants to flip out, generosity. There's people that care about you, people that are thinking about you. We got King of Cups. So King of Cups is an emotional king. This is another sensitive individual. This might be somebody you live with. This might be somebody that, um, this is, might be you at home. You can let down your guard. I want to get clarity on the Empress. Actually, with a new deck. I want to get clarity with this deck. This is pre-shuffled with your energy. Make sure it's upright. Empress. The abundance. Wanting to come through. Ace of Pentacles is money. Okay. Yay. Anything else for you guys? Devil, Justice, Queen of Cups. So when the Justice card comes out, it means there is a, karmically, you are getting what's owed to you. It's a very good sign that things are gonna go your way if you're also signing any contracts whatsoever. We have that coming out with the Devil and the, the Queen of Cups. Be aware, oof, be aware that little pattern of being compassionate and Oh, giving people the benefit of the doubt and listening to their stories or thinking very compassionately and sympathetically, empathetic, empathetically with them. In business, um, it, it can be a pattern of behavior in Pisces, and I'm a Pisces, so I know, um, that doesn't always serve us. So you're going to get this money. You're not going to have to get um, you're not going to have to get exhausted in your emotions or you're not going to have to, it, you're not going to have to engage them for this money. Okay. This abundant playground, this abundant stage that you're setting, it does, you don't have to be, get, get exhausted for it. Um, and so you're learning that. Anything else? Ten of swords, that ending, does it want to say anything? Ha! Huh, the sun. Yeah, that ending is ended. All right, you guys. So we have money coming towards you. You're realizing you don't have to go overboard and get exhausted exhausted for it. Can't speak. Um, you're getting major healing in um, career. Trust in others. 
you're getting healing and trust in others. And your home life, you're, you're, st you're stable right now. You really are. And there's another individual who I think is looking after you, who really cares about you. Um, all right. And then it's also telling you, you know, to make time for yourself, there's going to be a lot of communicating with others, possibly giving them advice, career advice, all of that. Make sure to make, make time for you. All right. So for love. For my face. And I'll invite you to hit the like button if this is resonating right now. Perpetuate that energy. Keep it going. Keep it flowing for Pisces and love. Ooh. Got them flying out. We have the tower card coming out upside down. Is there a resistance to a change? A decision that needs to be made? There's a learning curve here is the resistance to a change because you don't want to, don't want to have to start over with something. Okay. Flying out everywhere. Real smooth, huh? <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm curious, I would ask, I would ask you this. Sometimes we can put off change to a certain degree but then we have if we put it off long enough the universe kind of steps in for us we have a really fast moving energy coming towards you and your love reading and it's almost like you are you're resisting um starting anything new with this person there's um a they there's a, a charming naivety to their enthusiasm and um, their confidence and but you don't quite trust it you know you do recognize yourself as more of the mature energy in the duo but you might be learning about this person it could be conversations it could be if this is somebody that you're in a relationship with and that's what's resonating it would be like therapy um, but for the Page of Pentacles, that is sometimes um, just simply learning about them by way of even social media, checking up on them, checking them out. Like, is this person really what they say they are? They are very generous and um, they really like you. <laughs> There's this offer is just coming through. This is, could be even a lusty offer in love readings. The Ace of Wands is pretty lusty. And so... Um, that makes sense why you're getting the two of swords here, which is this decision that's hard to make. You're afraid to make it. And um, if you don't mind me saying so. Resistance to this change, this tower card that's coming upside down. What is that? We've got your card coming forward with the queen of cups that's um, backed by Piscean energy, water energy, the compassionate, big heart, empathetic, but very strong the wishy-washiness, mm -hmm. the confusion. What about that? Help. <laughs> Give us some advice here, Tara. What about that? All right. So there's a resistance to put down these, these, this bundle of sticks. This, is, this, these sticks. Please forgive me. My words. They're going faster in my head than my mouth can. There's a resistance to put down this bundle of sticks because it's, it's an exhausting chapter. There's a resistance to make a choice that ends this exhausting chapter. And we have that coming out with the temperance. So this whole reading is about transformation, you guys. And you are setting yourself up for great abundance. You do have an offer coming here, coming forward. Two of swords, anything on that for my Pisces, please make it clear. Flipping but not flying. We've got the collaboration card, working with others. Therapy actually might be really helpful right now just to kind of sort things out. Um, yeah, big judgment energy. Judgment card, not judgment energy. With the sun card. So positive. Once you make this choice, it's just that the responsibility of the choice is so intimidating, right? Because it's going to come with major change. But it's going to be such good change, you guys. 
such good change. We have that big change. So this could affect, you know, your life, your work, your where your living situation, anything else in that. You can declare anything else. Going forward with great speed, despite, you know, little contradictions, despite all odds, you know, we've got the duality, the Gemini energy, the yin and the yang, move, you know, taking a situation and just regardless of what could slow you down, just moving forward with it. And we have three other cards that flew out and we got the collaboration card again. So despite any conflict, moving forward, working with others, and you're at the very beginning of this new love journey. Now, I'm not saying that if you're in a couple dumb right now, um, you need to break up. That's not what I'm saying at all. Tarot is saying that there is going to be, regardless of whether you're with somebody or that you're not, there is somebody coming forward um, very, enthusiastically, confidently. Um, there's also, and they have their mind made up on you. Um, there's also this energy of transforming into a new stage completely um, with love. So I hope that is helpful. Um, check out your shorts and I should have those out soon, probably the beginning of next week and um, like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.